Ken Lane Ken Lane is an American writer, publisher and broadcaster best known for his political blogging in the early 2000s and his association with Gawker Media and Wonket from 2006 to 2012. He is the proprietor of Desert Oracle, a self-published periodical and radio program exploring themes related to the Mojave Desert in the southwestern United States. Career Early Career After graduating from a San Diego, California Magnet High School focused on broadcast journalism, Lane began his career in the mid-1980s reporting for Southern California newspapers before moving to Europe, where he worked for television, radio, and print journalism outlets in Macedonia, the Czech Republic, and Hungary. In the late 1990s, Lane returned to the United States and turned to online journalism exclusively. In April 1997, Lane co-founded Tabloid.net, an online publication in the brassy style of tabloid newspapers, with $50,000 in savings. While unprofitable as a company, Tabloid.net attained notoriety as an unabashed scandalmonger in pursuing a Florida advertising company for appropriating its intellectual property, a talking ham sandwich that gives advice. Lane's next venture was LAExaminer.com, co-founded in 2001 with Future Reason editor-in-chief Matt Welch, focused in part on criticism of Los Angeles' last remaining daily newspaper, the Los Angeles Times. The Examiner name was intended as homage to the defunct Los Angeles Herald Examiner. In early 2003, former Los Angeles Mayor Richard Reardon announced his intentions to publish a full-color, 52-page, tabloid format print edition called Los Angeles Examiner, with Lane as editor, intended to improve on the Times' local reporting. A prototype was produced and circulated among potential investors and advertisers, however the project was shelved after Reardon delayed its launch in May 2003. During this time period, Lane also received attention for blogging at his personal website, KenLane.com, and became known in the early 2000s American political and technology blogosphere for a quote directed at the mainstream media, we can fact check your ass. Another Lane project of the era was called Highways West, a travel website about the western United States, announced in January 2005. Gawker Media and Wonket In April 2005, Lane joined with former Gawker editor Corey Seeker to launch Sploit, a Drudge Report-inspired, tabloid-emulating website for Gawker Media, devoted to breaking news. He later became national correspondent for the flagship Gawker website. Lane became the West Coast writer for Gawker Media's absurdist and vicious political humor site Wonkut in 2006, and later its managing editor. Gawker owner Nick Denton spun off Wonkut in 2008, along with two other websites, and Lane became Wonkut's owner. In 2009, MSNBC's Keith Olbermann named Lane and Wonkat in his worst person in the world segment for allegedly mischaracterizing a temporary absence from his television program. In 2011, Wonkat faced media criticism and desertion by advertisers after a writer mocked Trey Palin, the child of 2008 Republican vice presidential nominee Sarah Palin, who has Down syndrome. Lane deleted the post after several advertisers, including Papa John's Pizza, pulled their advertising from the site. Lane sold Wonkat to Los Angeles journalist Rebecca Schoenkopf in 2012. Of his career writing for the Gawker Media sites, Lane said in 2018, all of that I did from the desert, and no one knew. Desert Oracle In February 2015, Lane created Desert Oracle, the voice of the desert, a quarterly periodical focused on the weirdness of the desert in the southwestern United States. Each edition runs 44 pages, most of which is written and designed by Lane, entirely in black and white, inside a yellow and black cover. Typical content includes adventurers' journal entries, railroad ad copy, and naturalists' musings, as well as stories on alien sightings and other paranormal phenomena. Inspiration for Desert Oracle came from Randall Henderson's Desert Magazine and Harry Oliver's Desert Rat Scrapbook. Published from Joshua Tree, California. Lane distributes the publications to bookstores and cafes across the desert southwest. As of 2018, Desert Oracle is available in five states and reaches the majority of its readership through the mail via paid subscription. Desert Oracle became the basis of a weekly half-hour radio show, The Desert Oracle Radio, hosted by Lane for the community radio station KCDZ in June 2017.
with subject matter similar to the print version. Lane's radio show features chilling tales of Bigfoot sightings, secret military UFO programs, missing hikers, and any number of myths and conspiracies centered in the Mojave Desert and the American Southwest. The Desert Oracle Radio reaches Joshua Tree National Park and nearby towns including Pioneer Town, 29 Palms and Yucca Valley by terrestrial broadcast. The show is also available as a podcast. Other writing Lane is the author of two novels, Dot Dot Con, published in 2001, and Dignity, an epistolary novel about a group of Los Angelinos creating a new community within abandoned desert housing developments following an economic collapse, in 2011. He formerly was a columnist for USC Annenberg School's online journalism review, and wrote a column called Desert Rattler for LA City Beat, both now defunct. Other writing by Lane has appeared in the New York Times, Los Angeles Times, and The All. Personal Life Lane was born in Louisiana, where he lived in the Lower Ninth Ward of New Orleans as a child. He moved to the Phoenix, Arizona suburbs for middle school, and later to San Diego, where he first began visiting the Mojave Desert. Lane records his own music, and formerly played with Southern California rock musicians Country Dick Montana and Buddy Blue Seagull. He has cited Desert Solitaire by Edward Abbey as an influence, whom he met and corresponded with before Abbey's death in 1989. Further reading Death in 19...